G'day all. I've uh, pulled up at a caravan park in Wonga. Um, only about 20 minutes north of um, Port Douglas. Loved Port Douglas. Stayed there three days, two nights. Um, really relaxed. Good pub scene. It's not bad. Uh, watched the AFL there. First half. Um, now I'm right on the beach. I'm probably about 20 metres off the beach. It's really good. Glad to be back in uh, the van again. Stayed in a uh, hotel last night, the Oaks. You'll see the videos. It was great. There was three things I was really looking forward to. Television, air conditioning, and ice. So I got in there, the air conditioning's freezing. Turned it off. Forgot about the TV, turned it on after about an hour. Flicked through some channels, it was a bit shit. Turned that off. Went to grab the ice. No ice. Anyway, you get that. But you can see the rainforest behind me, the beach, oh, you can see the beach there, probably hear it. So I'm in the Dane Tree now, officially, going to keep heading north, have a look around, see what it's about, take my time, like Wonga's only 20 minutes from Port Douglas. So I stayed in Port Douglas all day today. Woke up this morning, went to start chiller, left the lights on. Called RACV, they come out, not a problem. I had a battery pack with a jump starter kit set up on it. Doesn't work. Computer says no. So, but with the spare battery that I've got for the solar, I can jumpstart the van from that. So, I uh, went and got a set of jumper leads today. Didn't think I'd need them. Got them. And so that sorted that out. If I get a flat battery, if I forget the lights, um, I'm all sorted with that. Bought a little 12-volt fan today, I did. There's one of the locals heading down to the beach now. And this thing swivels, hooks up to my battery, and gives me more airflow in the van. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but I'm telling you, you know, when it's hot, and now it's humid as well, it's a big deal. So I went to Mossman Gorge today. Incredible. You'll see the photos. Went for a swim in uh, Four Mile Beach yesterday. Does pretty good. And uh, went to the pub, had a couple of ales as you do. That was very good. And now I've set up camp here. Um, I'll cook again tonight. I've cooked every night. I haven't had any uh, any pub meals or. Anything like that, haven't needed to. Had the odd pie, because I'm partial to a good pie. Uh, every now and again. But other than that, I just cook and live out of the van. It's, um, it's a really good life. It's uh, nearly two weeks. That I've been on the road, I can't believe how vast Australia is. I mean, I'm only in Queensland, and you can see the different scenery that I've gone through is amazing. I keep looking up in the bloody trees. 
I'm shit scared of these bloody carpet snakes, the pythons. Since the one uh, when I was living with the old girl Sheila, um, a big bastard ended up in the laundry downstairs. Went out in the middle of the night, turned the lights on. Cat's looking at me. A bit strange like. <laughs> What's wrong, mate? Then I hear this thud. Yep. Bloody great carpet snake, about seven foot long, sitting in the laundry tub just looking at me. As if to say, well, what are you going to do? Not much, mate. <laughs> Called the snake catcher. He fixed it up. But ever since then, I'm a little bit shit scared of these things, you know. They don't hurt you, so to speak. They just put the wind up you. And they can be anywhere. They can be on the ground, be on the trees. Doesn't matter. <coughs> anyway. Thanks for the chat. Cheerio. Just got to a place called Wonga. Booked into the caravan park. Got a discount. Must have been the dimples. And uh, I'm just walking down here now. I'm a stone's throw. What have we got? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, this will do. Very good. Cheerio. Don't do it, or the crocodile will get you. G'day. This is home for uh, the next night. I'm uh, well and truly in the Dane Tree. It's magnificent. Like stunningly beautiful. 
This campsite's cost me 16 bucks tonight, including a pool. I'll try that soon. But you got um, rainforest meets ocean. Can't swim in the ocean because of the crocs. Well, you can. Don't know if I would. I've had another great day today. No internet up, uh, no uh, internet up here, so you mightn't get this for a couple of days. But I think I'm going to hang around. I uh, had enough food and everything else for a, a few days, a week if I have to. But it is beautiful. I mean, it's like, it's almost like going back in time. It's, I don't know what to say. It's really magnificent. If you get a chance, if you ever get a chance to come up here, I would say, computer says yes, do it, you know? It's, um... Just beautiful. All right. Thanks for the chat. Cheerio. This is a place called uh, Black Mountain. It's uh, made up of black granite boulders that were pushed up at to oh, about 250 million years ago. A lot of mystery about this place. People have gone missing, horses have gone missing, even mobs of cattle have gone missing, they reckon. And it's filled with caverns and caves all the way through it. Some people say it's an entry to the underworld. But, um, whatever it is, fairly incredible. Cheerio. G'day. I am in a beautiful part of the world at the moment. Just starting to rain a little bit. We might be in for a thunderstorm. A place called Lion's Den. Uh, about half an hour south of uh, Cooktown. It's a uh, mango tree. Look at the size of it, we Down here is, uh, just down there is the river. 
went for a bit of a paddle before. Beautiful, nice swimming hole, no crocs. No internet, no Wi-Fi. That's a bit of a bugger. That's a bit of you. Hang on, I'll get rid of that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. 15 bucks a night, showers and toilets, and that's a pub up there. Incredible pub. If you get on the internet and have a look at Lion's Den Pub, you can see what I'm talking about. Great Tucker might be the first place I get a pub meal, I think. <coughs> I've heard great reviews about it. A couple of cabins there if you want them. But uh, yeah, here comes the rain. You might hear the thunder in the background. But it is. Um, Beautiful, nice breeze going at the moment. Yeah, really love it. No internet, real bugger. What do you do? Cheerio. Just about to attempt the uh, Bloomfield track. You can see it there behind me. All dirt road up over those hills, mountains. It's only meant for four wheel drives. Chiller's only a two wheel drive. But she's been good. She hasn't let me down so far. A couple of river crossings, a couple of real steep uh, hills to get over. She'll be right. You know what they say, you don't play, you don't win. Cheerio. Shit. She's steep. Hang on. I'm officially back in the Dane tree and I'm halfway through. Chilla's doing real good, she is. <laughs> I tell you, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dicey. 
32k, most of it didn't get out of second, and the other gears are rest, so. Yeah. Well, there you go, eh? Now, on hindsight, yes, it's definitely a uh, four-wheel drive track. But, you never know if you never go.